New at 11, families who lean heavily on food assistance have seen a huge gap in help recently. The snow, ice, and extreme cold have kept supplies from pantries, creating a literal snowball effect. Good Morning Indiana anchor Beth Vaughn went to Gleaners to find out more on this developing story. When you go around, you can get two of every item. Hunger doesn't disappear when the clouds roll in. In fact, when the weather turns to snow and ice, folks like Joe Mendenhall know the need grows. And Gleaners hasn't been able to make it out there part of the time. And Mendenhall and his son drove to Indy to stock up at Gleaners Distribution Center. Put in some rice, good to go. The truck that normally brings food to his area couldn't make it to Shelby County. Just yesterday, we had four out of 12 not come. Well, that meant that the agencies did not have the food to distribute. President and CEO Cindy Hubert says after a recent storm, gleaners served a third more people than usual. The need, she says, grows with every frigid forecast. The children aren't being fed because they're not going to school, so they're not getting their breakfast or their lunch at school or their back sacks for the weekend. Um, and uh, but then, so that puts a strain on the family. Dr. Lewis Fairby knows that concern very well, too. In fact, in his first winter as superintendent of Indianapolis Public Schools, he's already had to cancel class seven times. Well, the joke around the office is that I brought the polar vortex with me to Indianapolis. Uh, no, I didn't anticipate this. Almost 85% of IPS students qualify for free or reduced lunch. But with this type of weather and a school district like IPS that buses in nearly 25,000 students every day, safety wins out every time. So safety is paramount because we don't want to risk um, students' lives. And so every time we have school in these conditions, we want to be sure that the buses can transport students safely. Mm -hmm. um, don't want to have a bus accident. Don't want families to uh, risk their lives trying to get students to school. Farabee says the district works closely with the United Way, Red Cross, and Indy Parks to help fill the hunger need when the district is closed. It's a network Hubert says finds itself in a log jam when central Indiana freezes over. If we have weather problems, it just it comes to a screeching halt, and then we got to figure out how to get it out. Because the last thing she wants is to see families have to decide between the heat bill and feeding hungry mouths. Dr. Fairby shared with me in the future the district hopes to be even more proactive in the fight against hunger during the winter months. He wants to develop a program that sends food into certain pockets within the district on snow days to ensure the children with the most need get fed. Beth Vaughn, RTV6.